Hi, and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamara Ferlansky. And I'm John Hamilton. If you are looking for the latest industry news, you've come to the right place. One big issue right now is the outlook for the U.S. Postal Service. We'll tell you about their aggressive 10-year strategic plan today. And here's what else is coming up. We share some insight into Milton Glaser's life and work. We bring you the scoop from Dallas on HB's D-Scoop 5. And why some publishers are speaking out about print. Facing unprecedented volume declines and a projected cumulative $238 billion shortfall during the next decade, Postmaster General John E. Potter has outlined an aggressive 10-year plan. It involves cost-cutting, increased productivity, and an array of legislative and regulatory changes. He says these are necessary to maintain a viable United States Postal Service. Ken Gardner, President and CEO of the Mailing and Fulfillment Service Association, or MFSA, was among those invited to testify March 2nd before congressional staff members on the importance of sustaining a healthy USPS. He said, our industry has members located in nearly every congressional district and employs more than 25,000 employees. We are a significant part of an industry valued at $1 trillion, employing more than 7 million workers. MFSA represents the heart of the mailing community as we print, prepare, and process mail. Postmaster Potter stressed there is no quick fix, saying the crisis we're facing gives us a historic opportunity to make changes that will lay the foundation for a leaner, more market-responsive postal service that can thrive far into the future. After reviewing 63 prints entered by 18 companies, the Digital Imaging Marketing Association has announced the winners of its 2010 Digital Printer Shootout. Winning print vendors include Epson, who is recognized in several categories for its Stylus Pro 4880 inkjet printer and three different media. Fujifilm's Frontier LP7700 digital printer processor made an impression on the judges and HP received multiple nods for its Indigo 5500 and Indigo 7000 digital presses. For complete details, visit pmai.org slash DEMA. More than 1,800 HP Indigo owners and users gathered at D-Scoop 5 in Dallas last month. The fifth annual conference attracted 350 international attendees, largely from Latin America and Asia Pacific. The conference opened a half day earlier, allowing about 200 attendees to tour some local HP commercial and signage installations. 110 educational sessions and five hands-on workshops were offered. A solution showcase with 90 vendors highlighting publishing, direct marketing, and commercial print products and services. Larry Vaughn, D-Scoop chairman and president of Ideal Printers in Houston says, the strong showing from our members and support from our partners shows that everyone is connecting with the whole idea of D-Scoop, that as a cooperative, we can all help each other to achieve more. There were also some new offerings introduced at D-Scoop 5, including the HP Indigo WS6000P for professional portrait output, and the enhanced HP Indigo W7200 for high volume printing of photo specialty products, including photo books. Want to know more? American Printer has the full story in the March issue featured Digital Print Rodeo. For the first time ever, next year's Graphics of the Americas Expo and Conference will be held in Orlando, Florida. The show is scheduled for February 24th to the 26th. 2011 at the Orange County Convention Center. George Ryan, president of GOA, says we expect that this exciting new Orlando venue will attract an even greater number of attendees from the U.S. along with traditional strong attendance from Latin American countries. Orlando is now rated the number one destination for conventions and trade shows held annually and is an easily accessible venue. For more on the move to Orlando, visit GOA2010.com. For many, Milton Glaser is the personification of American graphic design. Milton Glaser, To Inform and Delight, is a new documentary from Art House Films that follows the personal life and work of this extraordinary artist. Best known for co-founding New York Magazine and his enduring I Love New York campaign, his work spans everything from newspaper and magazine designs to interior spaces, logos and brand identities. Artfully directed by first-time filmmaker Wendy Keyes, the film captures Glazer's warmth and intellect and his influence on his contemporaries, students, and people all over the world. Take a look. I remember him on the phone in his office, and I came down with a new manuscript and was waiting to talk to him. He just motioned me over, read the first three paragraphs while he was talking on the phone, 
and uh, made a sketch. Milton said we should always operate by interruption. And everybody was just crammed trying to get this magazine from Monday to Thursday uh, to a printer. He gave me a real education in the first year at New York. The editor was Clay Felker. Milton and Clay had founded the magazine themselves. Milton was the chairman and the kind of editorial force uh, in terms of service. He kind of reinvented, if it had been invented in the first place, service journalism. Our mantra was be on the reader's side. New video will release the film on DVD this April. Check out the website below. Leaders from publishing powerhouses, Condé Nast, Hearst Magazines, Meredith, Time Inc. and Wenner Media are joining forces to dispel the rumors that the print industry is dying. The campaign titled Magazines, The Power of Print will appear in May issues of nearly 100 titles and continue for seven months. Backed by Magazine Publishers of America, this $90 million campaign aims to excite advertisers, shareholders and industry influencers to reconsider considered the importance of print. The CEO of Wenner Media, which publishes Rolling Stone and Us Weekly, says a lot of us sat back for way too long and listened to all of this abuse and said nothing about it. Meanwhile, we sit on top of one of the greatest mediums. On a related note, take a look at this week's Columnist Corner with Steve Johnson about the power of print marketing and trade shows. I had a rude awakening at this year's automobile trade show. The sorry state of GM and Chrysler was obvious by their pale presence at this year's show. Many Japanese and European makers had also cut back severely. Handouts and doodads were few and far between. Exhibitors seemed to have cut personnel across the board. Many displays were populated by loop multimedia presentations, a trend I also noticed at Print 09. My 17-year-old son, his 16-year-old girlfriend, and my 13- and 11-year-old daughters all spent the day roaming the aisles of the show. Without any memories of the good old days, they all remarked unfavorably about the use of multimedia as a substitute for people. The Facebook generation decided that videos belong on YouTube and prefer to interact with live humans at traditional points of contact. Slip so videos pique their interest, but they aren't fooled by style over substance. I looked over the materials these new and future drivers brought home and I was pleasantly surprised to find that most of their takeaways were print. The gorgeous super high-end brochures and booklets of the past are still very much alive with some, though not all, of the car companies. Look at this 48-page beauty from Infinity, for example. They're charging top dollar for their products and spending top dollar for design and print. Spot colors, coatings, metallics, but wait, there's more. Liz, charts, graphs, all of the details that prospects want once they've fallen in love with the pretty pictures. The next generation discovered a timeless truth. Only print delivers both style and substance in a single package. With continued misconceptions of the impact print has on the environment, one organization has taken charge to dispel these myths and instead promote the positive benefits of the print industry. With more than 100 members, Two Sides is a European print community of people from the graphic communication supply chain, from pulp and paper professionals to manufacturers and printers. Two Sides provide a forum for the industry to work together, share experiences, improve standards and practices, and maximize customer confidence. One of its main missions is to provide users with verifiable information on why print and paper is an attractive, practical, and sustainable communications medium. You can learn more about this growing print initiative at twosides.info. And that's all for us today here on American Printer TV, but we of course want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. That's right, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. We'll be back again, same time, same place, but two weeks from now. Until then, why not get caught up on any American Printer TV cast you may have missed? They're in the archives. And we'll see you next time.